Good day everyone and welcome back to DX Explorer for another video. For today I had a totally different video planned. Unfortunately, my soldering iron uh, decided to give up on me and it died. And uh, sadly my older uh, soldering iron, which was the spare one, that one also died just a little while um, before this one. So I had nothing to work with. Luckily for me, my friends at PCBWay came to the rescue and uh, recently I made an order of some uh, PCB boards. I have a bunch of them over here waiting for you because I'm trying to prepare some nice uh, giveaway for when I'm going to reach 5000 subscribers. And uh, you know, PCBWay also has a store, a store which I didn't know about uh, until <laughs> recently. But uh, I went and I had a look and uh, I could find a lot of uh, interesting things some tools, some measurement equipment, uh, Arduino stuff, um, modules, and a lot of other interesting things. So if you're interested, go have a look. Maybe you can find something, uh, something interesting that uh, might be useful for you, especially if you're also ordering some PCB boards, uh, you're just going to get all together in one package. And that's exactly what I did. I uh, had on my wish list this uh, nice uh, soldering iron kit that I wanted to order for um, for a while so it came at the perfect timing right now because it just arrived this morning and uh, let's uh, jump on the desk really quick have a look at this soldering iron kit put it together and see how it works all right so here we are on a first look uh, it uh, it looks really nice we have a bunch of accessories here and it turns out I have more uh, tips for the soldering iron which is perfect because I did not have uh, something like this until now some tweezers I believe this one is for cables to uh, remove the, the insulation and this is the soldering iron holder together with this one soldering iron itself some uh, um, solder and a solder pump very nice very nice beautiful package <laughs> um, and uh, before we're going to put this one together I wanted to show you really quick I uh, received the PCB boards for the little audio um, strength meter a field strength meter I redesigned this one just so we you can also do it using the, the toner transfer method and surprise surprise i have the pititico which is going to come uh, next week on uh, tuesday i'm going to post a video about this one so uh, stay tuned because <laughs> we're going to have some fun so anyway let's uh, let's put together this uh, soldering iron kit really really quick and see how it works so it turns out we have this thing over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, should be all right. So I guess, of course, I'm going to tighten this later on uh, a lot better, but right now, just for the sake of the video, should be good enough. So there you go, not bad. And this one would come over here. And this is ready. Probably I'm going to adjust this one, of course, but right now it's okay. And we have the soldering iron, which is great because it has this uh, uh, temperature control. And uh, this is something that I did not have so far on my older soldering irons. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite excited about this part and uh, the tip that comes with uh, the soldering iron itself. I'm not sure, how do you change this? Aha, so this is the trick. Oh, very beautiful. Very nice, good job. I like this one. Much better than the one that I had. So, uh, yeah, excellent. <laughs> very nice. Oh, it's noisy, very nice. And we have the solder pump over here. I have a, another one, an older one, but... Oh, 
this one is much stronger so I can never complain about having uh, two of the same tool beautiful some extra solder <laughs> and this one I never complain about either some wires over here not bad probably for practice so this is a really nice kit for uh, for beginners I believe because uh, well, I'm actually a beginner myself it's not like I have a lot of experience in building circuits and electronics and designing stuff but these are very 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 nice uh, especially this one if I'm ever going to decide to try uh, doing uh, SMD <laughs> uh, circuits with SMD components which I doubt but you never know I'm going to put those together and this one will be very useful uh, this way I'm not going to keep uh, destroying my teeth because that's what I'm using most of the time to <laughs> remove the insulation from the wires anyway let's uh, put all the accessories in the bag and uh, actually plug this one in and see how it works all right so uh, i powered up the the soldering iron right now it's showing me 350 celsius degrees and because it's new it's gonna burn a little bit and uh, i'll have a little bit of smoke i hope i'm not going to burn my hands but <laughs> while i'm uh, making this video so from here you can raise the temperature or lower it so yeah let's lower the temperature a little bit three sixty three ah it moves even faster if you hold on the on the button so i'm going to leave it at 300 celsius degrees and uh, I believe the soldering, the solder will come in handy right now. Let's do a test. Oh, very nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very nice. I like it. So guess what? Now I can uh, start working on some projects. The fact that I can... Uh, adjust the temperature is very very useful for me because and by the way this one it's 80 watts my older one was only 40 watts and sometimes i had the feeling that it's uh, way too hot and way too much for what i was supposed to do so yeah just uh, lowering the temperature it would help me a lot and uh, yeah beautiful beautiful I like it and very cheap too I mean it's uh, it's very cheap and uh, I spoke to a couple of guys who have this uh, soldering iron uh, for uh, for some time now and uh, yeah they told me they're very happy about it so <laughs> I guess uh, it will be the same for me so anyway thanks uh, PCB way for saving the day for me <laughs> I was actually planning to test it and uh, show you how it works but I guess you'll see it in action uh, next Tuesday in the next video anyway and probably in most of the videos from now on working on uh, projects because uh, I'm going to uh, transfer all the components from the older um, PTT Co2 on the new PCB board and I want to do some uh, adjustments and uh, explain a little bit more extra information that I didn't not explain um, into the first video because I had a few questions asked on uh, email so I'm gonna try to answer those questions as well and test it and now I can finally put it in a nice enclosure and uh, have it ready to be used on air yeah, yeah if I get to learn the code for a change because I keep saying that I'm going to do it and I never have the time but anyway thanks for watching the video for today I hope you you like this one as much as I do and uh, yeah don't forget uh, go ahead and visit the pcb way uh, store um, especially when you're ordering a pcb board just in case because you never know when you're going to find some uh, interesting stuff over there that uh, might be useful i um, i actually have a lot of things on my wish list already and uh, i'm going to try to slowly order whatever i need 
so um, yeah uh, come back tomorrow tomorrow I'm gonna be back with another video on YouTube and it's an announcement about a nice uh, contest for shortwave uh, listeners but uh, yeah we're going to talk more about that tomorrow and I'm also going to post um, a blog article about the the contest as well so anyway thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you tomorrow and after that next Tuesday until then thank you again 73 and have a wonderful rest of the week